Okay. So today I thought I would show you how to color grade the sky. And that's something that I struggled with for so long when I first started making videos. But for some reason, the sky would never match the rest of my image. And if I wanted to bring down certain tones, it would bring the rest of the image down and it would just never work out. I'm gonna show you today how to fix that by some simple masking and some simple effects in the Lumetri color tab. And you should be having some banger sunsets in your videos in no time. Jumping into Premiere Pro, I've got my clip laid out on the timeline here. This is a drone shot taken at Wanaka Lake in New Zealand. Beautiful pan up over the water. All right, so as you can tell, this image is ungraded and it's pretty flat. So what I want to do is I want to give it a nice base grade first, maybe just with a light or something similar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to single out the sky just select that and affect that so that we can get a nice moody sky while maintaining that same exposure that we want to keep in the foreground and the ocean. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that LUT. So let's go into our creative tab. All right, so I've applied my LUT and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over this adjustment layer, stretch it on top of my clip and then go to effects, search for Lumetri, Lumetri color. All right, let's drag that on top. And then you'll see this little Lumetri color tab pop up over here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do then is go to the end point of your video or the clip, however long you want it to run for. So for me, that's here. Okay, so once the Lumetri color tab has appeared over here on the side, we're gonna to wanna to get this pen tool and we're gonna basically just outline the sky and create a mask over the sky. So whatever effects we create are only gonna affect whatever is within that mask, which is gonna be our sky. So very carefully just go over your horizon. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be as detailed or as rough as you like. I'm just gonna do this quickly for the sake of the video. Okay, so we've got a basic mask. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna go over to the Lumetri color tab and we're gonna start playing around with the curves. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the mid-tone straight down and see what that does. Okay, so already we're bringing back all that detail just in the sky and we're still maintaining the same exposure and the same color in our foreground. So I'm gonna drag that down a touch. There, drag the highlights down a bit so that they can come back. All right, perfect. But I might also just bring up the vibrance a little bit. Maybe give it a bit of contrast. Bring the shadows down a touch and maybe even give it a little bit of warmth. Let's go down to the color curves now. I'm gonna affect the oranges to bring that sunset back. So let's bump the saturation up there. I'm gonna actually desaturate the blues a little bit because I want it to match the water a little bit more. And I also wanna make this sunset a little more orangey. So I'm gonna pop the hue of the yellows up a little bit. All right, so you notice now if I scrub through the mask isn't moving with the image, which doesn't really help us at all because it's gonna just look like this big blotch of color moving at the top of the screen. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna actually feather this so that the edges don't seem as harsh. So all you do is you go over here and you just slide your feather up like this. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna just blend those lines in nicely so it doesn't look like we've actually just drawn over the sky. And I'll usually go anywhere from 200 to 300 with my mask feather just to make it really blend in um, with the foreground. So I think I'm happy with that right there. Cool. So the last step to this is super simple. We're basically gonna work backwards from the end of our clip all the way back to the beginning. And we're gonna create a keyframe and literally keyframe our mask to stay in line with that horizon all the way back until the beginning of our shot. All you do is click that little timer icon there. It's gonna give you a keyframe. And then frame by frame, just go back through, track the mask, and then it should follow along nicely with the shot. All right, and that's all there is to it. Basically, if I play this back now, you'll be able to see my mask has been able to perfectly track that sky without affecting the water in the foreground. If I highlight my mask path here, you can see all the way through Starts out of frame, and as the sky comes in, we've just keyframed that mask down, and it's basically just affecting our sky. So, hopefully you guys found that helpful. I definitely struggled with this for longer than I should have. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.